Talking about your involvement in the Channel 4 programme earlier this year, was that strange being at the centre of all that publicity? Uh, yeah, it was difficult. It was like being in the eye of a storm. But, you know, I was there to do this project, to, to look for Richard's grave and, you know, to search for the real Richard. So, you know, it was a case of just getting on and doing it. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it was unexpected, I think, really unexpected. Were there any details of the dig, of the project more generally, that you don't feel were covered in the programme or that you'd like to have seen expanded more? I, th I think um, the problem was we had 60 hours of footage and we had to get it into like one hour, 20 minutes. So you can imagine how much ended up on the cutting room floor. There's a lot that um, wasn't covered, but we've covered it in the book. So I'm hoping that now that we've been able to write down the story of the discovery, um, everyone will be able to read about it. What do you hope that the book will add to our ideas about Richard that wasn't covered in the programme or that hasn't been discussed elsewhere? Well, I think in terms of the dig, I want people to, to get a sense of what the journey was like for everyone involved in that project, because you're going to live it by reading the book. But I think what we also decided to do was, you know, as a screenwriter, you walk a thousand miles in someone's shoes. And I think with bringing Mike in to give Richard's story, we wanted them to, you know, have a sense of Richard, walk a thousand miles in his shoes, but then whilst doing that, you know, walk a couple of hundred in mine as well and to get the full picture. How about you, Michael? <clears throat> yeah, one of the things that very powerfully emerges from the discovery of Richard's remains is how he fought and died at Bosworth. And from a historian's point of view, this was an incredibly dramatic moment, a, a moment that even his fiercest critics stopped, paused and said the way he fought was incredible. And a lot for me could be built around that in the book because that that charge where he charged his opponent and then how how he he suffered in those final terrible moments were, were a core to telling his story in a different way uh, a way that hopefully makes sense of contradictions that haven't been resolved before and gives a power and drive to his life his reign and his death Funnily enough, for me, one of the most powerful sections in the book is the Bosworth section that Mike writes. For me, it's, it's Bosworth being told in a way that it hasn't been told before, and it's needed to be told like this. And I hope, I hope the readers will enjoy it.